All right, I'm at a lake up in the mountains. This lake has grayling in it. I've not caught grayling in a lake this year and I wanted to. I forgot to replace the SD card in my GoPro here. It's, I only have about an hour and 45 minutes of, of recording time. Yeah, so let's just try to fish for an hour and 45 minutes, see how many fish we can get. I'm fishing the Daiwa Sigiri 45MC. and a 15 or 16 foot floating line. I think this lake is entirely grayling. I don't think there are trout in here, just all grayling. Oh, I see a fish down there. Okay, I'm gonna switch from a floating line to a level line, because I've seen a couple of fish, but they're pretty far underground underground, under the surface. <laughs> there we go, there's a fish. Oh, that's a good sized grayling. Yeah, that is a grayling, all right. Awesome! Beauty, that's a good size. I mean, that's a... Might be the biggest grayling I've caught, or at least one of them. Yeah, that's a 12 or 13 inch grayling. There's that beautiful dorsal fin. All right, swim away, my friend, swim away. Okay, that feels good. I don't know if you can hear the birds around me, but they are just screeching. Loud suckers. There we go, saw that one come up. It's another good size. Graylings look so cool in the water with that fin. This one might be even bigger. Oh my gosh, it is bigger. Yeah, that's a 13 inch grayling right there. Look at that. That is amazing. Swim free. So cool. You kind of need a third hand to deal with grayling. Two to hold the fish and one to bring out that dorsal fin. These are actually the first grayling I've caught in Montana. I've caught them previously in Idaho and Utah. Earlier this year I caught some grayling in a creek in Utah, which was fun. And in Idaho last year they were in a lake and so I figured it was time to come to another lake to fish for the suckers. Oh, there's a little frog. Right there, swimming away. And to be clear, this is not traditional Japanese Tenkara fishing. I'm fishing a lake. I'm not fishing for trout. I'm not fishing a Tenkara rod. This is a Seiryu rod, I think. But it's shorthand, you know, if I say I'm Tenkara fishing a lake for grayling, you know exactly what I mean. And on my lake fishing videos, I also occasionally get comments that are like, that is so stupid. Why don't you just take a little backpacking spinning rod? And to that I would say, because I enjoy this kind of fishing more. Also, mind your own freaking business. <laughs> just because you like to do something your way, it doesn't mean everyone has to do it that way. I'm very much a live and let live or fish and let fish kind of angler. I don't care how you fish. You should not care how I fish. 
What I do does not affect you in the least. Just get off my back. Beautiful lake though, beautiful area. Took about an hour to hike up here. I just got my last Tenkara fly, my last Kabari stuck in the tree behind me. And so I, uh, I just tied on a pheasant tail. It's not a bead head. It's not heavily weighted. Got him. Saw that one. Come check it out. And he went away. And then I saw him come. Or, and then I, I recast. Oh no, my flies. <laughs> Guess I didn't close my little shoulder pouch. Anyway, like I was saying, I cast to this fish. I could see it. He took a look at it and then turned away and then I cast him again and he went for it. It's another nice grayling. It's like 12 plus inches. Got one. All right, fish number Five. This one is angry. Flies out. Another good sized fish. 13 inches. I highly doubt I'll be able to show this fish to you guys without him freaking out, but there's that dorsal fin. Ah, oh, thanks for cooperating. There's a grayling. No. No, there are two or three right here. I just caught, just got caught. Oh my gosh. I think I lost the fly, but maybe I didn't. No, I most certainly did. Okay, let's tie on another pheasant tail. Okay, there are several grayling in this area but I think they can see me. So I don't know if they're especially willing. Oh. That one went after the fly just as I was picking it up to recast it. Darn it. He's going for it. There we go. It's so fun watching them go after it. So fun watching the take. Look at that fin. So cool. There's a tree right behind me. I've already got one fly stuck in. I don't want to get another, but this seems to be a good spot. So I'd like to stay here and fish a little bit more. Just gotta keep looking back, keep reminding myself where that tree is. There we go. Same story. Saw it, cast to it, I wasn't interested. Cast to it again. 
got it hooked. Nice fin. little guy I saw him I cast to him oh come on that's the smallest grayling I've ever sight fished <laughs> by far the smallest fish of the day oh see you little guy go <laughs> oh, I see a movement. Oh, the fish went for it and I guess turned around at the last second. Oh, <laughs> come on. See some movement, but I don't see any movement in the line. There we go. Saw the line twitch, even though I couldn't see the fish because he was underneath that boulder, under that rock. If I land this guy, it'll be the last one of the day. All right. And that might be the biggest dorsal fin I've ever seen on a grayling. I don't know if you can see that, but that is enormous. That is a giant fin. Look at that fin. That thing is just a sail. So cool. All right, I think we're done here. I'm out of both time and SD card space on the GoPro here, but I hope you guys enjoyed that. It's always fun to catch grayling. I really had a great time up here. Beautiful lake. I fished for about an hour and 45 minutes, almost two hours. Caught nine fish. Yeah, it was great. I'll definitely be coming back here uh, in the future, probably again next summer. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.